Hey, Freddy, do you want to talk more about the trips? Yeah. So, um, I didn't talk anything about the trips or anything about my parents. So, the, the, the most interesting or curious thing I've ever been is that I never knew my sister would come. She's about seven months right now, and yeah, she's cute. She smiles at anybody she sees. I don't get But I call her boss, baby. You know what? She started to crawl since she's five months. Second of all, she literally FaceTimed my dad when the phone was on, like, the home screen, you know? So that was really weird. And, yeah, I call her boss baby. And I had really, really fun with my parents. Um, so for the last four days, we had some free time. And the first thing we did is on the first day is that we got scooters. So at, you know, Europe, they have these electronic scooters that you can, it's kind of like a motorcycle, but a scooter. So uh, yeah, it's really cool. And uh, my dad actually got the, you know, those bags that you put, and then you put the baby on, and then it just holds it, and you, you know, strap it around and everything like that. So uh, my dad actually risked wrist it and then put the baby on and then right rode the scooter it was i was freaked out i was like what what you doing man and then he was like oh you know as long daddy is here the baby's fine okay i was like oh wow um and we got two scooters and guess what 19 euros 24 hours wow how cheap is that? 19 euros, 24 hours. I know, it's so cheap. And uh, we couldn't actually use it for 24 hours. You know, who would ever do that? Riding on a scooter, not even sleep, just riding around the streets. And yeah, we went to Casa Mila. It was so big and it was so fun. How many scooters do you used? We, we used two. So you, one you, for my dad. One for your mom? One for me. And my mom said... One for you. I want to hear more about that. How did you get one? So how did I get one? Oh, if I brought my phone, I could show you. But there's like this app you have to download. It's called Sparky. So Sparky. Sparky scooters. So what you kind of really do is that you scan the QR code. <laughs> I know, hilarious, right? QR codes in Europe. So you scan the QR code and then you get the ride's QR code and you get to control it. You can pause the ride. You can um, you can resume the ride and you can end the ride. You can start the ride. Whatever you want to do. And you can also control two rides at a time, however you want. Yeah, I understand that. My question actually was, how could a 10 years old get a scooter? Oh, okay, that's a good question. So. Actually, you know, I'm 10. They say it's four feet above. So no matter how tall you are, but if you're four feet above, you can ride a scooter. So I'm four feet above. I don't know. I'm like four, three, four, one. Sorry. Okay, I thought I was taking the bus, but okay, whatever. Um, uh, so actually. The only requirement is about the height. Yeah, the only requirement is about the height. Ah, interesting. Yeah, interesting, right? You're at Europe. Are you the tallest in your class? Well, I am third tallest. Okay, I, I know you have some friends shorter than you. If you went... Way shorter, like, like a guy named Titus. Yeah, so if you went Europe, Spain with Titus, so probably he won't get a scooter. Yeah, sadly, Titus is only three foot. Like three foot five, mm -hmm. I don't know. Sadly, Ty. Well, okay, you can't blame Titus. I know. He's born in December. Okay, he's technically a grade three. I'm a grade four, but he's a grade four right now. No, he goes to grade three because of his height. The school told him you're in grade three, boy. So, um, sadly, he went back to grade three because of his height. Okay, let's not talk about that. Let's get back to the scooter. So, yeah, I am above four feet, and guess what? Sadly, poor mom, she had to walk the whole way. And my dad... And she me, walked the whole way? Yeah. 
Yeah, but without a baby, she was just, you know. So what? Why is that? You 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 out of cash? You said nineteen dollar nineteen euro is not very expensive. Your mom didn't no, want. No, there was cash. only two scooters at the hotel. That's why. The reason why was there's only two scooters. They only had two scooters. Oh. So there wasn't three scooters. We asked them. I asked them, and then they said, "Oh, sorry, we only have two scooters. Maybe next time we can buy one for you." I was like, oh, "Okay." And yeah, that okay. Let's get rid of the scooters and get back to the trip. So another fun thing we did is we watched two professional Barcelona games. So man, it was so fun. We got to cheer on three nothing Barcelona won against Man U. Oh, oh yeah, that feels Gucci. And uh, they won against two one. So that's the two games we watched. They against Real Sociedad. I know it's really hard to pronounce. But I could do it. You know, when you're at Spain, it's just like that. You know, you're at Europe, oh, if you go to France or something, oh my God, it's like the same thing. Yeah, that's what we tell you. Oh yeah, we also went to Casa Batilio. So, you know, Antonio Gaudi, all of these structures are built by him. And he built it for a family called Baltilo and a family called... Mila, yeah, Cast Mila and Cast Baltillo and something else, Castle what? Yeah, that guy, man, that guy, that guy feels smart. That guy has space, and guess what? If he was alive right now, he'd probably be the god of coding. Because he knows X, Y so much that he's like, he can make his own game all by himself. Okay, sadly, he died in 1920s. Hello, darkness, not my friend.